YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going over all the easy ways of making coins on this game at the moment. And we're also gonna take a peek at the promo coming out tomorrow and just some information on that. But before we do all that, we gotta talk about content today on Thursday. If you wanna have millions of coins in FIFA 23 like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA coins. Make sure you use code TEDDY at checkout to get 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Thursday was as expected. It's always just, you know, marquee matchups and a player SBC. We actually ended up getting two player SBCs, so that was kind of nice. And we got this Tobias Loritsen. Uh, no idea who this dude is. He's six foot four, medium high work rates. And for a center back, he looks pretty solid. And he's a premium shapeshifter. So the fact that he's a premium shapeshifter, uh, you know, full chem. So it doesn't really matter what is around him. And then Acuna, this guy costs about like 33K by the way. And then Acuna cost about 130,000 coins. And wow, flashback Acuna looks very, very, very solid. Great stats. And um, if you need a center mid, there's, there's so many nasty center mids on the game at the moment. So I guess if you want an Acuna, there you go. And then um, marquee matchups as well. Thursday, you know, it's always a marquee matchup day. Throwback marquee matchups because there's no, you know, real games on at the moment. Uh, trading wise, well, nothing too crazy. It's just, it's not how it used to be at the moment with marquee matchups. It's not like we're making too many coins off of it, but like trading with the supply for marquee matchups has been really solid. Like if you were in the stream, I was saying, hey guys, go bid on gold comments. You can make a ton of coins bidding on gold commons and silvers. And it was like winning gold commons for 300, selling for 800, winning silvers for 150, selling for 650. It was a really easy day for trading today. So if you were in the stream, we made some good profit. Now, solid SBCs today. Let's talk about this loading screen, the level up promo. We... Uh, kind of got some information from this promo just from the loading screen if you can see here level up complete the level up your game objective and you can upgrade your card so i'm just pulling up sheriff on twitter so we can see some leaks um so it's looking like it's kind of maybe going to be like the footballer promo i don't think there's any confirmation at the moment of what is going on like we'll we'll take a peek real quick let's go over to twitter so we can see if there's any more leaks because i just had a game that's why this video is coming out late we lost shouldn't have lost i couldn't believe it but you know it is what it is and here we go foot sheriff any leaks so de bruyne is coming as a level up player okay De Bruyne is getting a card. Look at the, st the stats on these cards. It's, it's ridiculous. So De Bruyne is getting a card. Renato Sanchez is getting a card. You saw Enzo Fernandez is getting a card. Cavani is getting a card. And Alfonso Davies is getting a card. Now, <clears throat> we don't really have any information, I think, on what this promo is going to exactly be like. And with the way it's looking with that loading screen that we just saw... You have to complete the objective to upgrade your player. So we're thinking it might be like the footballer promo. And for those of you guys that don't remember what the footballer's promo was like, I don't think they did a best of. I don't think anything was in packs, but that was earlier in the year. It might be different now. There was like nothing in packs and we had player SBCs every single day. So day one would be Renato Sanchez. You complete the SBC and then what do you have to do? You have to complete the objective to get the upgraded version of Renato Sanchez. So maybe it's going to be like that. I'm not too sure. Also, if you guys need uh, XP to level up in the season progress, there is a kit that costs 75,000 coins, I believe. And if you do this objective, you get 6,000 XP from it. I don't think you need to buy the kit. If a friend bought it, you can play on co-op, I think. Don't take my word for that. I'm just thinking you can do that and get the objective done. So there's that. Now, uh, so thinking about the level up promo, just kind of where the market might go depending on it. So if it is SBCs and there's nothing in packs, we'll probably see the market rise. I would expect to see the market rise with, you know, nothing in packs really. Maybe some certain positions might get hurt a little bit with the SBCs if they're good value, but nothing impacts. We would probably expect the market to rise. If it's a shit promo, you know, nothing too crazy, stuff 
shapeshifters, stuff like that would go up in price. If it's a really good promo and maybe, you know, the SBCs are great value and there's a best of team. Because whenever there's a best of team, there's usually, you don't really see too many leaks of, hey, we're going to do a best of team and put these players back into packs. So if there's a best of team and maybe the SBCs are really good value, we'll see the market drop. Now, I do want to say like, I'm really talking about maybe more so the icons and shapeshifters, not really the team of the season side of the game, because you guys know team of the season cards, you know my opinion on this. We have a team of the season SBC every single day that refreshes and it's tradable. We can trade with this SBC every day, but I really don't think buying players for your team wise and hoping for a rise just because it's a good card and crappy promo. I don't know if I would really want to go down that road too much just because there's supply every single day. So that's the level up promo. And it's like, okay, so is it going to be an SBC promo? Should I buy fodder now? Should I go all in on fodder right now? And then hope, you know, it's an SBC promo and every day just fodder required every single day in these player SBCs. So, I mean, it's up to you if you want to take that gamble. Fodder is somewhat coming down at the moment. So, you know, you could look into doing that. I'd say if you wanted to go the safe route, a lot of team of the season cards are fodder priced. Like I've been picking up, I accidentally, I overpaid on this guy. I've been picking up team of the season cards, 88 overall team of the season cards for 11,000 coins on bid. You can just see right here from my transfer list. We'll just kind of go through these players. 1075, 11K, 1075, 1075, 1075. And you guys know my opinion on this. If we quick sell them, I lose 14 coins per card. So it's just, it's super low risk. And you know, if 88 overall cards rise, I make coins. If team of the season moments cards rise, I make coins. So I think it's a very low risk route if you wanted to maybe invest early and see if you can predict the level up promo. But you know, if you want, you can also just wait for tomorrow on Friday. I'll be live streaming at content drop and we'll, we'll watch the market and we'll say, okay, um, you know, it looks like it's going to be an SBC promo. It looks like, you know, these kind of cards are going to rise. So we'll kind of just feel it out. Another thing, you know, if it's player SBCs every day, you could look into team of the weeks. Team of the week trading is back, by the way. Team of the week trading is back. They rose today. I think they rose because of the two player SBCs. I think they had team of the week requirements in them. And a lot of people were doing those SBCs. But you guys know my team of the week trading. I always say, you know, you can get these cards on bid for min price and list them up for a decent amount the only issue is they're kind of expensive right now so it might be a little tough to do but if you do see these team of the weeks back down on like eleven thousand coins on bid easy easy pickup so that's that with the level up promo and like potential fodder stuff now you can take the gamble on fodder but i'm not going to really give any fodder prices tonight i'll wait for tomorrow on friday to start giving you guys stuff to be buying i would say you know, we can keep daily trading fodder. It's been really easy. I mean, 83s, these cards, it's just, there's so much stuff you guys can be doing to make coins. I was picking up so many 83s for like 850 coins on bid. You just hop on this filter. Look at all these 83s that can pop up. There's two right there I could bid on. We have one, two, three. You just go through and bid on these 83s and it's really, 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 look at all these 83s. This filter right here, if you're on a low budget, you'll be making like 500 coins per card. You pick up the 83s for 800, 900, 950 coins even if you want to and list them for 1500 coins. They go up to that price every single day at content, content drop and that's an easy 50% return on your coins. So say you put 500k into 83s. You wake up the next day, you got 750k. So it's just really simple for making coins. Now, uh, let's take a peek at... I'm not going to go too much into fodder because we just kind of mentioned it. We don't really know what the promo is going to be like. But definitely tomorrow on Friday. Let's You know what? Let's take a peek at uh, what are the prices at the moment. I mean, if you're buying the 83s for below 1,000 coins, it's always something I think you can easily do it's just they are like 1300 coins but if you can get for below 1k with that filter i just showed you go ahead and go for it 84s are coming down 85s are definitely coming back down as well but uh you know the sbc is expiring so once that sbc what is it the 85 times 7 is gone these are you know they're going to come back down to a more reasonable price i guess you could say same thing with the 86s too so you know, I'm kind of holding off. We are seeing some high rated fodder get really low. I will say that 87s are getting insanely low. 88s as well. I I'm thinking I really like the team of the season moments route. If you wanted to just go in early and just 
have a safe route for your investment. Because, you know, when it comes to the team of the season moments as well, you do run the chance of, hey, you know, Icon SBCs usually come out on Sunday. So maybe an Icon SBC comes out on Sunday and we can just make a crap ton of coins. If there's the team of the season requirement, we are rich. Let's just see. 1075, what are the bids like? Ooh, slow down a little bit. Let's make it 11K. What do we got? It's just no supply. That's that's all it is. I think it's just no supply at the moment. So not too many bids popping up. Maybe 1125, it'll change. Yeah, no, just not, not too much supply right now. But if you can still pick them up for like 11K on bid, go for it. You guys saw I have almost a full transfer list of these. So team of the season moments, you know, if they don't rise again tomorrow, just tomorrow at content drop. If they don't rise, you can easily pick these guys up on bid an hour after content drop. You know, you have to wait an hour for all the bids to pop up. Another thing I want to mention with team of the seasons, you know, if you're on at content drop, you can flip cards because like 10 minutes, 15 minutes after content drop, a lot of cards come down in price. And there are so many potential flips you can do. Like how's Goretzka looking? We were actually looking into Goretzka maybe for a link to the Alfonso Davies leak that came out. We bought for, I think, 135. Yeah, 135 and he's chilling. You can probably sell him for like 145, maybe 150 if you're lucky. But I will say, you know, if you're on at content drop, look for decent cards, good team of the season cards that come down in price because of the pack. And you can get like, if a card's 130K, it's so, so easy to buy them either on bid or on snipes for much less. Like 130K, I saw, I think Bukayo Saka was 133K and there was one that popped up for 120K and it was sitting there for like 10 seconds. No one bought it and I, I ended up getting it. So definitely, you know, watch Team of the Season cards. It's just, they are so simple every single day. So easy to trade with. So that's that with Team of the Season cards. Uh, gold common cards as well. You guys know if you're on a low budget, I always mention gold commons. You can easily get them on bid for 300 coins, 350 coins, 400 coins, and you can go ahead and sell them for, they were selling for 800 earlier. What are they going for now? Seven. So they're still up in price. They're what? 750 I'm guessing. So 750 pretty much instantly selling. And I'd say at 800, maybe only certain ones. It might take the full hour at 800 and they might not even sell. So 750 instantly selling really easy right there. If you just want to go through, you go max price 350 and you just bid and bid and bid and bid and you will win a decent amount of them. So that's that with gold commons. We talked about team of the season guys. It's just, I don't know how many times I'm just, it's just the same stuff every single day. Like I bought Bukayo Saka at content drop for 120 K sold them for 137k i've been buying these team of the season moments lazy listing them as well like when you buy these cards you know they're not going for 12.75 they're not going for 13k i'm just gonna hit relist all and i'm getting sales and like if i buy a card for 11k i sell it for 13k tax is going to be a little let's say it's like 700 coins that's it's less than that but let's say it's 700 coins so 13k 12,300 coins i'm making what is that 1300 coins per card and i just keep doing this over and over and over and over again and it's really simple and i'll just keep my transfer list full and if eventually 88 tries or if we get a team of season moments requirement they're gonna fly and i'll be making a ton of coins and we'll be chilling there so that is that i don't want to really it's just the same stuff that i'm saying over and over again i'm not going to give too many fodder prices just because you know i kind of want to wait for it tomorrow on friday to see what we get exactly because we you know we don't really know right now 83s if you can get for below you know 1k it's fine i would say you know fodder is going to be a good investment soon but i'm not buying it at the moment when the team of the season shapeshifter player pick refreshes i think it refreshes maybe on sunday if i'm correct it could be on sunday so once that refreshes like the day before we'll look to probably buy a lot of fodder for that SBC. Yeah, in two days. So I think two days, it would be two days, like 24 hours, something like that. So uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it would refresh on Sunday. So maybe Saturday night, Saturday is usually a really good day to buy fodder. We'll go in and we'll go buy team of the weeks, high rated team of the weeks, team of the season cards, not team of the season moments, team of the season cards. So 
I'm thinking that's probably what we're going to be doing. So maybe, you know, Friday, an hour after content drop, start picking up a lot of team of seasons for cheap on bid. Saturday after content drop, start picking up a lot of team of seasons on bid or high rated team of the weeks. And I think that's going to be our move for this weekend and daily trading fodder. So that's that promo tomorrow on Friday. It's a new promo. We don't know exactly what it's going to be. It's if I was going to predict, I think it sounds like the footballer promo. You do the SBC, you complete the objective to get the better version of the card. I'm thinking that's what it's going to be like. And then maybe they do a best of. We don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We usually best of, if anything does kind of get leaked, it's like right before the promo starts. So we'll see there. No compensation news as well. I know there was some weird Brazil Portuguese compensation thing going on yesterday, but nothing really ended up happening. But that is that guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below my free trading discord, my Twitch live stream description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.